Hi everybody. So I have decided to make um, Mexican lasagna. So it's uh, it's gonna take a minute because I have no tortillas. Well, I have two tortillas, so I have to make some tortillas. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna be making some homemade tortillas because that's the dish I want to make. So, because I have no tortillas, I have to home make the tortillas, which is fine. Not a big deal. All right. So, sometimes I open that door to have extra room. So this is the pan we're going to be using. Set that aside because... We first have to make the tortillas. That is, I have my little handy dandy cheat sheet here. <laughs> little handy dandy cheat sheet for some homemade tortillas. All right. I got some. I've decided to stop worrying about this stove every single day. And do it every other day. <laughs> Get my life to be a little easier. <laughs> All right, so we need to start with uh, gathering up our. So we have five table room temperature. Look at that. Five tablespoons of butter, room temp. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got the butter. Check. So we need some salt, check, oh, I'm going to need some hot water, so turn on my teapot, I need a cup of hot water, um, flour, and baking powder. Okay, so... Baking powder, salt. I'm just going to take the salt out of this one here and flour. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Bang! Okay, so I have my new. Um, storage containers here. Decided to use them. Right. So we have salt right here. Making powder right here. Flour right here. Butter. Hot water's on its way. That's going to be a piece of cake. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> So we're going to do three cups of water. So three cups, I'm thinking that this bowl right here. Three cups of flour. You know what? I need to change my mind on that. I'm going to bring out the big dog. Bring out the big guy. spoons and measuring cups. These are going to do three cups of flour. Starting, starting it off with three cups of flour. I can dip my whole cup in there. Just about. Almost. Turn it around. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying too hard. Okay. I know I'll make less of a mess because I got the whole container to
to ah, I knew that I was gonna make a mess right there. I did too. I made a mess. clean towel. Dang it. There we are. Okay, three cups of flour, two teaspoons baking powder. That was half of that. <laughs> All right. Two teaspoons of baking powder. <laughs> you know, there's a hard piece in there that doesn't want to be covered up. There we are. Two and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Well, it's okay. I'll get the hang of it. <laughs> one and a half. This is the half right here. So we're going to do a half. Two. There we are. All right. Got all the dry ingredients in there. This is supposed to be like a real easy way of doing it. We'll see. All right. All right. Come on. Let's get it going. There we are. Okay. Those dry ingredients together. Those good and combined. There we are. Now we are going to take five tablespoons of butter. Oh, I hope this is five. It might be five. <laughs> Better be fine. There's one. Uh oh, I think I hit it too hard and it got covered up by the flour. That's okay. It's fine. I'm gonna get the number two. Uh oh. Running into an issue here. There's two. Um, there's three. Trying to clean up my mess and fill the last table. One, 
two, three, one, two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Got it. Uh-oh. Well, I had to draw it where I just scraped it off. Of. Take a minute. Less than a minute. Okay. We're gonna need it, some flour to knee it. These two did not get used. to get that water going. This is why all my <laughs> recipes are on clay, hot water, turn out, floured surface, knee one to two minutes. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. <laughs> Come on. All right. This is too dry. I can tell you. want to burn my hands on the hot water. Just gotta be careful. See, look at all the flour underneath still. Wow. There we go. That's a little better. And when I say a little, I mean a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Maybe just Another tablespoon ought to do it. Okay, so get that kneaded in there. Nice and warm now. That's just how I want it. Okay, and knead it for one to two minutes until fall. Uh, rest it, cover and rest it 10 minutes. So, I know I'm needing it a little bit more than, but it needed it. 
Have him rest 10 minutes. <laughs> I got dough underneath my nails. See you in, in 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is up. It's all good and rested. <laughs> all right, let's see what we do after that. 10 minutes of resting. Okay. So now we make the tortilla. Now we make the tortilla. Oh, I might need a little bit of flour on my hand here. All right. So it says we should get 12. Twelve to fourteen. Well, I don't think we'll get sixteen, so Right? No. Mm -mm. No. They're not even. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Let's roll them in a ball. Alright. Let me see what I got here. I'm just going to pull a little piece off of each one, I think. So, I'm going to need a place to put these. Alright. Kind of the undone ones here. Right here. And the done ones in. In my hand is under tortilla hold up all right let me balls real quick let's turn this on some people do it like this maybe I should do it like that huh This one seems a little big. I think that's really the only way of doing it is in each individual one. You know, size them each individually. This one looks big now. A little bit off of that one. Got a, a wiper here. Let's put oil in the pan. 
and I need to get this started. It's bigger than the rest. A little piece with that one. There's six. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get 12 pieces. Um, um, 11, maybe, if I'm lucky. <laughs> and I'm trying to hurry because the pan is heating up. I want the pan. Okay, so there's nine, ten, there's not twelve, not even, I might be able to pull twelve out of it later. Jeez, all right. Uh-oh. idea what that was about. I don't know what time it is, so I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get a little bit of flour on the board here, and we're going to get a little bit of flour on our pin here. Get this uh, probably to, you know, you want about an eight or so inch diameter, and maybe, right? So, we are going to try to get this right. It's not very round, rounded. <laughs> it's pretty thin though. So last time I made these, I don't think I rolled them out thin enough. I don't want to overcompensate, but that looks pretty thin. Let's get going on the next one. be like 30 seconds. Maybe it's not quite hot enough yet. Should be puffing up soon. Let's get you better situated. Yep, there we go. I've already turned it. You can see a little bit of coloration on there. It should be puffing up. Any minute now. It's supposed to only take 30 seconds, so the last time I did this, it also took longer than 30 seconds. So I'm wondering if I'm just not getting them thin enough, you know? Kind of like pancakes. The first one never seems to work. Yeah, see, look at that. It's colored nicely. Hopefully, be skimpy on the paper towels. Just keeps the moisture from building up inside there. I don't know why this this one didn't puff up. It's supposed to puff up. 
to toughen up a little bit. Oh, that's pretty thick. <laughs> Disaster, isn't it? Ooh, it's puffing up a little bit. Yahoo. Uh oh. I think I turned it too soon. That's all right. It'll be all right. If I turn it, I get more of a circle, <laughs> more of a better circle. But if, that one seems like I had it right, yeah, and it's puffing up too. That's good. But it says 30 seconds each side, 30 to a minute each side, and that's, I think it's more like two minutes each side. Last time they were puffing up really, really good. But I did mix some white and wheat flour by accident, but I don't think that could be the issue. I don't know. But they're going to be fine for what I want them for. The Mexican lasagna. nicely. Yeah, maybe I should have just turned it up a little bit, huh? Yeah, I, I could get it to 30 seconds each side, but it's not browning enough. So, I turned it up. And we'll see how it goes. I 
need to heat that up a little bit more. I should be putting the cover on it every time, or at least partially. I should have the cover on this one too. Doe doesn't like the light. It's looking better. It's not looking better, right? Homemade tortilla for our Mexican lasagna. <laughs> I don't make it a lot because it's expensive to uh, do all the cheeses. Like I don't have ricotta, so I have um, cottage cheese. <laughs> so there you go. That's what's going to happen there. All right. Next. Wait, that one looks good. Even though they're not puffing up, they're still looking good. So I think I'm good. Oh, yeah, I didn't do the oil. Hopefully it won't stick. I don't think so. Non-stick pan, so. All right. I have enough of this one. I could try and beat this tad bit neater. Let's try. <laughs> I could try it. There we are. I don't need these here. Oh, that's puffing up. I see, so, I see a little puff there. I should have a wet towel underneath my board. So it doesn't move around like that. Turning them too early. What the hell? Come on. So almost a seven, six and a half instead of a six. I'm up half a point, which is like 10 degrees, five degrees, something like that. Puffing up though. That's important. Airier the better, I guess. It's definitely puffing up. So, up on the heat. Looks like it helped. That one's kind of shaped as it like a heart. I don't really worry about getting them too circular. Don't bother me that they're not. Otherwise, if it did, I would be measuring them and all that, you know? Uh-oh. Oh, look at that coloring there. Yeah, it turned it up. It bubbled. It colored. All right. See, now I knew where I was going wrong. And it looks a lot better than these ones, too. Those are a little yellowy. Because I kept putting the oil in the pan. So, I don't think... A little bit of olive oil on every one is necessary, especially if you have a non-stick pan. So that looks good. We'll just go go with it like that. We're gonna go with it. Next, basically just the time effort of everything. I think. 
that it's a relaxing type of pillow, you know? Where, you know, you just relax as well. Nothing that has to be rushed. some areas. I don't want to go too long because I did. Damn it. No. I'm not doing, I'm not. Mm -mm. This is always pissing me off. No, it's fine. It, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It is already five o'clock. Five o'clock, do you know where your car is? That's what our radio station says. Our local radio station says. Do you know where your it's five o'clock? Do you know where your car is? Meaning, time to get the fuck home, man. We're out. My job wasn't like that. I got done when I got done. <laughs> yeah. There from 5 a.m. to sometimes rolling in at 11 p.m. Sometimes it just depends, you know. One time I was, oh God, I was so close. I was so close to the lot. Friday night, uh, last day before Christmas break, and uh, I tell you, got a call. Oh, you got a broken down bus in Eatonville. I'm like, oh, crap. So, the deal is, one driver has to take a bus up to the other driver, right? And it's the other driver's um, choice to either stay with the bus and wait for the tow truck or get on the new bus that was brought to them and take the people. So, I, I think I reached Eatonville at 8.30, something like that, 8.30 p.m. And I didn't have a car, and it really didn't even dawn on me. Um about not having a ride home because <laughs> I didn't have a car but you know because I was just taking the bus I wasn't thinking about it right so um, the problem lies <laughs> and if you're unfamiliar with taking a, a met, uh, public transit the buses only run for so long and then they shut down for I how was I to know I didn't know but <laughs> yeah so um, Needless to say, the tow truck guy got there very late, and um, I got back, to, we got back to the lot, because he towed the bus back to the lot, pulled it in there, and I was in the passenger side, and he says to me, he goes, where's your car? And I said, well, I don't really have one right now, I'm taking public transit, and he goes, oh, well, do you have a ride home? And I said, yeah, I'm going to walk up to the bus stop. And he goes, no, you're not. I said, what do you mean? He goes, it's like 1130, quarter to 12. I said, yeah, I know it's real late. He said, buses don't run like that. I said, what? I had no idea. I was an idiot. I had no idea. I had taken public transit a lot of times in my life. It just never dawned on me that I should have to look at a schedule you know to do so i just assumed right so <laughs> here we are midnight and i don't have a ride home and this guy you could tell he had a heart he was like oh man 
He's like, well, where do you live? And I said, well, I live up in Kent. And he said, oh. Well, it's not really my, on my way, but he goes, I suppose I'll give you a ride. I said, would you please? That would be so kind of you. Yep. He gave me a ride all the way home and watched until I put the key in the door and opened the door and walked in and all that. I told my husband, I said, the next time you drop me off in the dark, you best wait till I get the key in the door. I was like, oh yeah, you're going to do that for me from now on. <laughs> that was funny. <clears throat> but yeah, I had no, no way of getting home. I didn't even think about it either. It didn't even dawn on me. So, this darn cutting board. Well, I'm just too lazy to go get another towel. That's all there is to it. I'd rather deal with it rolling around like that instead of making my life easier and going to get the damn towel. <laughs> I sound like my dad. It's pure laziness, I'm telling you. It's just pure laziness. out of the pan, please. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. Yes, very nice. Are you are you seeing these very nice? Tortilla, flour tortillas, flour tortillas. Get them here, your flour tortillas. <laughs> popcorn, get the popcorn here. So I was at a friend's house um, having a party. Uh, one of the guests at the party was talking in an English accent. And so I started talking in an English accent too. And he goes, he goes yeah, well, you, you, you don't sound too bad, but I don't think it's very kind of you. I guess apparently he was English. To, uh, Talk like that if you're not actually English. I said, except for I actually am. Pick. How do you know? You don't even know me. <laughs> My dad was English. My mother was French. You look French. Yes, I know I look French. But catch me at the beach on a hot summer day. My hair's gonna. Listen in the sun, red as can be. Hey, young man, Skippy, I swear to God, I go for, I go look through that people and there's nobody there. I, I'm going to have to just, you know, yell at you some more for barking every five minutes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Stop barking. Hey, knock it off, please. I heard them too. They're allowed to be out there talking. Other people live in this place, you know. There's something right there and it's annoying me. Black spot. Uh oh. It's bubbling. Yeah, I'm still turning it way too early. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> oh dear. Skippy, I mean it. I'm going to tell Dad when he gets home that you were a bad boy almost all day long. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? You want your dad to hear about this craziness that you're doing? I'm trying to get this one thinner. Thinner, man. Thinner. That's the whole thing is just getting it thin enough without tearing it. Ugh, beating it up too bad. See, that's puffed up. All right, that's a good one, even though it's oddly shaped. Uh-oh. <sighs> Nobody's going to know once the casserole is done. What these look like before they went in the casserole. <laughs> Looks don't matter here. Twelve cooked tortillas do. <laughs> I think I'm going to have only eleven. Have you been counting? I don't know. I don't know how many I have. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
screen. 10, 11, yep, 11. And it's already moist down in there. But you want to keep them that way. So we have 11. We don't even have 12. Thank God I have a couple. I have two over there. So that should do it. That should do it. Two store-bought ones left over. That should do it. All right. Do not bark at that gentleman out there speaking. He lives here too. Stop it. You're a bad boy. No good boy treats for bad boys. Gee, now I'm talking his language. <laughs> hey, I mean it. Get away from the door. Stop obsessing. Get away from the door. Now. mean it. You stop barking. You stop wolfing. It's not necessary. False alarmer. He's just out there talking to somebody. He has the right to be out there doing whatever he's doing. Who doesn't have the right is you to be barking at everybody that walks in front of the door. You do not have that right, dog. Because that's what you are. You the dog. We the people. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's what I thought. He was about walking over by that door again. He, he turned around, turned around and laid down like he faked like he was gonna lay down. When he was actually heading for the door again. Right? Alright, so these are looking good. They're coming off a lot hotter than <laughs> Then what the hands want to. Uh, handle. There we are. Yeah, they're coming off a lot hotter. and But they're blowing up better, too. They got that those air bubbles that we're looking for. I had one, just one big, huge air bubble once. It was perfect. I made my taco out of that one. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get no more than this, so... I'm disappointed because it said 12 to 14. I got 11. I was hoping for 14, right? Aren't we all right? Are you kidding? I, I wish I had 14 instead of 11. Because, oh, minimum 12? Yeah, no. No, it wasn't. You should get 12 to 14. No, I got 11. And I don't think any one of these are any bigger than the rest. I think they're a little inferior if you ask me. I mean I could have added a little more ingredients had you been honest. You know? Just cut the ratio, right? Down to 1%. Add another 1%. Get another tortilla. <laughs> well, not exactly like that, but close. I mean, did it say, oh, you would get 8-inch tortillas or 10-inch tortillas? So I was looking for 10-inch. I got like 8-inch. But I got enough. I ain't complaining. I am not complaining. I'm not going to turn it because this is where I've been turning it early. And I'm not going to turn it. This one almost looks like a, almost looks like a circle. No, I was going to say it almost looks like a, a fire engine kind of sign, but I, as I was starting to say that, it was changing its shape as we speak. Oh, mm, that's funny. Shape shape, yeah. Okay. That's better. 
That is way better. Look at that. That one's way better. Yeah, too bad I didn't learn that on the second one. <laughs> Whatever. Last three, and I've got I've got it down pat now. It's, blo it's blowing up. It's browning. It's yeah. It only took me eight <laughs> prior to this one. Yeah. You know the funny thing is that thirty second, sixty second thing. No, mm -mm. I don't want it to cook in that time because it needs time to bubble up. And I just don't think anything should cook that quick. That's a lie. That's a hard dry piece right there. Alright. Okay, we're good. Uh oh. Don't do that. I don't want you shaped like a taco. That's not what I'm looking for. Alright. Ah. Open, says me. Right. We got a few more. We got a few more. That one is a nice one. Oh, look at the, all the condensation on the lid. Let's go figure, huh? Right? I don't, I don't want them that moist. Oh, I know that word is so triggering. Not for me. I don't want them that wet. Okay, here we go. This one seems a little thick. Let's see. One more, one last one. Do I have any takers on the last tortilla? Last tortilla of the night coming up. Sir, ma'am, would you like a tortilla? Last one to come in. Down the tree. All right. If I was making six inch tortillas, they'd be perfectly round. And they thick and round. Pita bread looking. I think if you wanted to have pita bread out of this, have it thicker, rounded like that, and have the temp up higher. Right, so you can get that 30 second blow up. And then you take it off, and that's your pita pocket. That's your pocket. That's your one big pocket. So, yeah. Same recipe, basically. This one's kind of not flattening all that much. Because it's drying out. I noticed that on this one was a little drier. Okay, that's looking better. Yeah. So, it doesn't like to roll. Ah, crap. When you do that, shit, that's just enough to piss you off. Roll all that back out again. <laughs> Try to unfold it for sure, though. Don't like just roll it back out again. Mm, that's pretty round, but it's not thin enough. breathing around and I'm gonna need to take a break because this oof, I'm telling you mm. right, here we go last one are coming here we are get that left out there here we are all right okay I'm a mess that's the exact way I know I can get a flower. I'm just kidding. Being messy does not bother me. <laughs> However, I don't think this towel likes what I put it through today. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that is the tag. That's got to go in the potatoes. Okay, so not bad, right? 
barely even know. All right. Just see if I can get these dishes rinsed off. So flour is so hard to get off your dishes if you don't rinse them at as many. So for all those, for all you youngsters out there, rinse your flour off your dishes. It, it's going to turn to cement. You don't. <laughs> That'll stick to your lungs, won't it? Anyways. Which I'm going to hang over my shoulder so it doesn't get flour all over it. Nope, nope. Not ready to be turned. It's bubbling up quite nice. Got some bubbles in there. Oh, that looks good. All right. So I think success on those tortillas. We'll let those air a little bit. Fresh tortillas. If I had known I didn't have all the tortillas I wanted in the refrigerator, because I had two packs in there. One pack was back. So I had to discard that. So, and I'm like, well, now I don't have enough. But fresh tortillas isn't ideal to be doing a baked type of meal. And, I mean, you can do it, obviously, but you can do whatever you want. But I'm just saying, like, if they were to be aired, even for a couple of hours before making of the meal, which is probably could well very well happen. I could be doing it tomorrow for all of it. I, you know, I just, uh, when it decides to escalate, it doesn't give me a fair warning. It doesn't say, oh, we're going to go from a four to a six. Now you're, you're ready. Well, it doesn't do that. So it just goes up. And sometimes it goes up a lot faster than... Uh, on this one, I'm going to put one underneath and one on top. That looks about right there. Yeah, perfect. Good job, man. Those look divine. I'm just saying. Here they are. I'm going to show you. <laughs> okay, before I burn my hand. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, mm, ah. Cray. Okay. They're, they're, they look good, right? <laughs> I can tell for my hand. <sighs> oh, funny. Yeah, don't burn your hand there, Lisa. What's this? I'll give you another look when they cool down just a tad. Yeah. So, I took a dough in here. This is an easy clean up here. No, we got dried flour in here as well. That dried flour, boy. And, like, if I started not feeling good right now, I would still try and get as much flour off the dishes as I could possibly bear before I had to go sit down and cry a little. Just, uh, just a little. Just cry a little. Um, yeah. I would still try and get, not necessarily wash the dishes, but not really doing right this second anyway, but I do need a break and I do have accelerating pain. Um, I am going to get the flour off this stuff before it becomes cement. That's what will happen if you don't. I 
am so messy. Why? Ow. Oh. Oh, fuck. Mmm. Son of a bitch. You know, and that's why I don't like to talk about it. I just feel like as soon as I start talking about it, my brain's like, oh, yeah, you will. You want to you want pain? I'll show you a pain, bitch. Here you go. How about this nerd? So that was right directly. <laughs> Man. Right here. Sharp shooting pain. Right there. Like, what the hell? What was that? I mean, it's calmed down now, but good lord, what was that, you know? And I've made a mess of this. Yes, I have. So I'm going to, once again, wipe that groove. <laughs> groove is really proven. There we are. Nope. 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 Get out of my way. Cleaned up lickety split. Cleaned up lickety split. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, hmm. I guess I will wash it. Oh, wow. Um, so I had a like an in, ingrown fingernail that I was trying to take out very um, calmly and smoothly and no, 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 it didn't work out that way. And so now it hurts and it bled, all that. And apparently butter and hot water made it hurt worse. Stick your phone. <laughs> Just kidding. It doesn't hurt if I don't put extreme hot water on it. It's so weird. Yeah, you think? Not strange. <laughs> but this faucet is really starting to piss me off. I thought, when, as, as soon as I thought, oh, I'll just set the hot water and then adjust the cold as needed. That doesn't quite work because I need the water pressure to be different at different times, right? I don't know. Well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I don't like it. So if I don't get what I want from him, I can most certainly get what I want from Walmart. I happen to have all the tools needed. <laughs> that I won't have to be buying the tools, that's for sure. Alright, that can be put away. I like it and I don't like it. It took me about, oh, I don't know, five minutes to realize I've done it like this before. <laughs> and I didn't like it, and that's why I got the jars. And I think my mistake was just getting too big of jars. You know what? I got it. I'm just going to do the lick and lock. Or lick and lock. The, the snap and lock. You know what I'm talking about. The choo choo. Right? Four sides, click, 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 and out. That's all you need to do, and it opens up really well. My problem is, are they proven for short-term storage? Have they been proven, or is my flower going to go bad in three weeks, three and a half weeks, three weeks and six days? <gasps> Just kidding. I don't know. Wait, I really made a mess. So it might be tomorrow before we actually make this. He still has some leftovers tonight, so there's a hammer in there for him still. And uh, these will have a chance to air. Should we try one? This was the number one cooked, and I think it was too thick. Good. Oh. Well, if that one's good, it's all good. 
All right, so it said out on the counter for a week, something like that. Oh, my God, good for how long? Oh, I didn't write that down. They're good for a week on the counter outside the refrigerator, probably two weeks in the refrigerator and three months in the freezer. I'm going to go out on the limb and say that's about right. That's what I read. What I read at my stove. And I am so not even going to worry about this until all my dishes are clean, all my laundry is clean, my floors are clean, until, until everything else is done. Because I have spent way too much time on this damn stove. I have. And if I just go in a circle like this, I get the refracting light instead of the streak. So, see, proof. I make it streaky again if you want me to. I'm teasing. <laughs> All right, well, if I make the, um, man, those are good, Mexican lasagna tonight, um, I'll let you know. If I don't, it'll be our tomorrow project after coffee and dishes. So, sounds good to me. <laughs> I will let you know. Oh, man. Oh. All I can do is keep a smile on my face. I don't think people understand my illness. Well, I know for a fact they don't. You know, it's, I guess if I knew how to explain it better, maybe that's what, that's what my neurologist put on, um, in my chart that it was poorly explained to him what was wrong. I used medical terminology. I don't think how how poor is it? How poorly was it? Um, I've had post herpetic neuralgia for the last couple of years. I I don't think that that's poorly explaining myself. And I'm not going to rant tonight. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for joining me in my tortilla making adventure and uh, to be continued for the Mexican lasagna. It's going to be delicious, just so you know. Join me tonight and or tomorrow. Um, it's already quarter to six, so if I decide to do it, it I would have to start by 6.30 to be done at a decent time. So, if I don't start at 6.30, it will definitely be tomorrow. Um, when is tomorrow? Oh, it's Halloween. Yay, one of my favorite. One of my favorites. Yeah. The witching hour is soon upon us. All Hallows' Eve. Mm. <laughs> Halloween. I think I love it because um, I could be whoever I could I could be anybody I wanted to be that one night of the year <laughs> yeah and I was but I I have been so I mean you know what tomorrow I think I'll tell you a little Halloween story I got a couple of them under my belt one or two <laughs> yeah yeah, I'm thinking of at least the three that I will tell you tomorrow. <laughs> and if I get some ants in my pants, I might just show up tonight to tell you a, a Hallow's Eve. On the old Hallow's Eve night. Which is actually tonight. Get it? Hallow's Eve. Like Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Halloween. Tonight's Hallow's Eve. Why do people not get that? No, I could be wrong. I have no idea. 
Let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> Thanks again. I'll talk to you later. Did I go 10? Oh, are you kidding me? I went 10 over. Wow, all that. It was supposed to be a 30 minute, 20 minute prep, 10 minute to cook. May have taken 10 minutes to cook if I had three or four pans going. And I only got 11. So that last one would have taken an, see, they try and trick you, making it, making it sound like it's all that in a bag of chips when it's not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye.